Whoops. You ain't supposed to see all the background, you know? Kira, how do I become a user experience designer in 2022? I am so glad you asked. Welcome back to my channel, first of all, and thank you so much. If you are a returning person, that makes me so, so happy. Here are the five steps, major important steps, of becoming a user experience designer in 2022. All right, you guys, as a recap of how I became a user experience designer 2021, but we can still use this for 2022 because it was only last year. Come on, you guys. So if you watched my video, if not, I think you should definitely go back and see my journey to becoming a user experience designer because it was an untraditional route and I knew nothing about tech or user experience design when I first began my journey there. So it is so possible for you to do that as well. I do not have a design degree. I pretty much had to learn everything from scratch. All right. First thing in becoming a user experience designer. First thing in becoming a user experience designer. Make sure you actually like user experience design. Like there is content on YouTube. There is courses that you can take. Mentors you can talk to on LinkedIn. So many different things that you can do to actually kind of find out if user experience design is even for you it may or may not be for you but take that time to figure out if that's something that you want to do and not just for ux design for anything that you want to do in your life don't just chase the money second step enroll into user experience designer certification program i had to say that so slow because i trip on my words when it starts to get late at night and right now it's like almost 11 o'clock so Sorry, you guys, if I just sound a little bit, you know, I'm just going to say UX. This just seems to be easier. Join a UX certification program. My certification program was by Google, but I took it through Coursera, if that makes sense. So it was by Google. <laughs> it's the Google UX design certification program, but I actually took it through Coursera. And... Like I said before in my previous video, Coursera is a platform where you can take any courses for only about $34 a month and you get seven days free. The faster that you complete the course, the least amount of money that you have to pay. Definitely keep that in mind. It is a great course. Honestly, I recommend it. And it's honestly what helped me become a user experience designer and I will not tell you guys anything that did not help me and no this video is not sponsored you could also take a boot camp to learn about UX design but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you actually want to do something that's like cost efficient I feel like Coursera is definitely the best way to do it you don't have to start there you can just start for free by like watching other youtubers and learn about their journeys and doing some side projects on your own which is actually going to bring me into the third step build your portfolio the reason why i put the ux certification as number two is that it actually helps you build your portfolio it actually helps you organize your case studies put them together to put on your portfolio have a good portfolio if you do not go the certification route there are websites that you can go to that you can actually get free scenarios i'll go ahead and link those below as well and those are to pretty much practice your own um, ux design they do not have to be real life scenarios all of the time they don't in fact a lot of people and this is this is great i wish i actually paid more attention to this how you can build your portfolio this is very important redesign already existing apps make them better for example if you want to redesign a youtube app do some user research it doesn't even have to be like a ridiculous amount of people you can ask your family members and your friends and if that's not big enough for you to get like 
a good chunk of data from them you can go ahead and like interview people off the street but, but be careful when you do that just yeah most people are good people though you can ask them hey what are some things about so-and-so app if it's a youtube app if it's something else like twitter or instagram what is something that you love the most about the app what don't you like about the app what are some things that can make it much much better so that is actually a design method that i actually explained right there you will see me talk more about different design methods that i use to gather user data so let's just say like you just went ahead and just redesigned an existing app this is so critical and it's very valuable in becoming a user experience designer like recruiters and hiring managers pay attention to your portfolio because what you're really going to be doing as a user experience designer you're not always going to be working on brand new apps you're more than likely going to be working on something that's already existing so if you're already putting in the effort to go through the design process with the already existing app you are already showing that you are competent enough to do their job that okay that's something i wish i knew honestly like why did i just redesign apps but if you want to fast track yourself to actually becoming a user experience designer very quickly definitely use already existing apps step four fix your linkedin oh my goodness you guys why are you neglecting your link look i have been there i've done that when my linkedin looked like crap put time and effort into showing who you are as a person your own brand when you go out and you apply for jobs and you have people look you up on LinkedIn, that's you, that's your brand. That is what they have to judge you by. Social media, right? Can't stand it sometimes, but sometimes it can help you out. So fix your LinkedIn. Fix all your social media, actually. <laughs> y'all needed like a slap on the wrist for the things that y'all put on social media. Fix all that stuff because for really good companies, they're going to look you up. They're going to look you up. So just not deter employers by your social media. Let's just not do that, okay? Also, on your LinkedIn, you can add your projects. You can add your UX certification, add everything on there that caters to user experience design. Also, go ahead and add your previous experience. Give people a story. Give people to understand where you came from. Not all people came from tech already who are user experience designers. A lot of them are career changers because user experience is actually still fairly new. So it's really hard to actually find people who has a design degree and who is a user experience designer these days because it's not as common yet. It's becoming more and more common. It is. But as of right now, there's still some schools that don't even offer those type of programs. That means that you can use this to your advantage. Put in all those things. Put in your projects, even if you just have your redesign projects or you have your volunteer projects, which I will teach you how to get those in later on videos as well of how you can actually volunteer for people. Real life experience with stakeholders and clients. You don't get paid for it, but hey, you will eventually. Why? Because you got it on your resume and they could possibly could be a good reference for you. So just think outside of the box and just, I had no choice to help me out. You know, help a sister out. <laughs> step five. This is a step that none of us really like. I mean, at least I did it. The step of interview practice. Interviews in general honestly give me anxiety. Like, who likes to interview? If you like to interview, then good for you. You're gonna do great then, hopefully. I cannot stand interviewing. I'm honestly an introvert at heart, and I am not good at talking about what I'm doing, especially when I'm very nervous and uncomfortable. Practice, 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 practice. The tell me about yourself. I hate that question. <laughs> it's so broad. It's so broad. It is uncomfortable. <laughs> Especially for somebody who doesn't even like to talk about themselves. Like me. 
You're gonna have to answer that question, so go ahead and practice it as much as you can. You're gonna get certain questions that you didn't even think that you was gonna get. Oh, oh my goodness, are they asking me this? I'm a user experience designer, does it matter? Yes, it does matter, because they still wanna know if you're gonna be a good employee or if you're just gonna suck and just waste their time and, and money and resources. Yes, so definitely do not neglect practicing your behavioral interview questions technical interview questions whiteboard challenges are stressful <laughs> they're scary you have no idea what your scenario will be before you actually go into the interview they will tell you right then and there some of them if they're nice will let you know up front to give you some time to prepare in some kind of way but a lot of them like to kind of make you uncomfortable right on the spot that's just kind of a part of it continue to watch my videos I am going to go through whiteboard interview prep because honestly, as a user experience designer, no matter what the scenario is, you have to think about the same exact questions to ask your interviewer. First of all, they're going to give you something that is very broad, they give you a very broad scenario. Then you're going to be like, what? And they're just going to stop right there. That's it. Okay, I need more information. That is part of being a user experience designer is actually asking questions, clarifying questions. To be able to actually design. That's the whole point. You continue to ask questions. You already in there. But don't just be like, oh, go ahead and design a elevator that has a thousand floors. I got that question. <laughs> and then start drawing an elevator that has a thousand floors. Do not do that. Who is the elevator for? Where is it gonna be at? Who is who's a stakeholder? Who's even paying for this? Think about all those things and you continue to watch my videos. I will give you great tips that you need to use in order to ace your whiteboarding challenge. Keep a lookout for me. I'm gonna give you guys all the tea. Step number six. I'm not trying to be cliche or anything, but I just got to tell you guys, because everybody's going to tell you this. I hope so. And if they're not, then they're just trash. But don't give up. You are going to feel some days like, why am I even doing this? I'm putting so much time and effort towards this and it's not going anywhere. Keep getting better. I don't care if you have to do your resume seven times like I did. Just keep getting better. Keep getting better. Keep getting better. Keep getting better. You are going to put that work in whether you like it or not. If you don't want to put in that work in, you may not actually be a good user experience designer because you are going to hit walls. You're going to hit walls in your designs and you're not going to know what to do. It's going to happen sometimes. You just got to roll with the punches sometimes and just keep on trying to figure it out like i said make sure you even like user experience design make sure it's something that is for you that makes you happy that's all i can say if this is something that you want to do is become a user experience designer you just gotta keep working at it. you just gotta keep on going like i said i will be having other videos coming subscribe and put on that notification bell and i will talk to you guys very very, 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 very soon. Until next time. Bye-bye. Totally looking up in the viewfinder and y'all gonna notice that the whole entire time. I'm so embarrassed. I cannot believe that. See, this is why I made sure I wasn't looking at that the whole entire time. And I did it anyway. I, I just did. Honestly, I don't know if I'm getting better because this is my first time doing this. But I'm starting to notice that my personality is coming through. So I guess that's a good thing. Or maybe a bad thing.